everyone. I'm here to do a review of our Higher Compact Electric Dryer. I also have a video of the Higher Washer that you see next door in use. If you're interested, please click on the link that you see. And I also have a video of how we actually set up this uh, washer dryer in our step-in shower of a bathroom that we don't use. You can click on this link you see here. So I bought the dryer online at walmart.com as part of a washi dryer bundle with a free shipping offer. Pre-tax, the bundle was $489 and the dryer was $258. If I were to order it by itself, it's $316. So you save quite a bit of money and it may be subject to shipping by itself. The delivery was super fast as I ordered it on Wednesday night and it arrived via FedEx uh, Saturday afternoon. Now for the features of the dryer. You'll see on the control panel here that you can choose time dry at 30 minute intervals at 150, 120, 90, 60, or 30 minutes. Or there's other uh, auto dry features uh, at normal, heavy duty, or delicate. You can also choose between high, low, or no heat, which is a nice feature. The dryer also will tell you what cycle it is at um, when it's actually in use. So it'll light up on the left with red lights, whether it's drying, cooling down, complete, or it'll not notify you when you need to clean the lint filter. Unlike most dryers, it actually goes on this cool down mode uh, during the last 15 minutes of the cycle to cool down your clothes and the machine. Um, I also recommend cleaning the filter after every use uh, because your clothes will just dry faster. You can also pause the machine at any time, which is nice if you want to check on your clothes to pull something out. All right, so now for the capacity of the machine or the drum. The drum is about 10 and a half inches, almost 11 inches deep. And then the width, or I should say the diameter, is 23 inches wide. Um, which is not a bad size. Um, I'm going to show you also the filter while I'm in here. As you can see it kind of snaps out and it snaps in. Let me take it out just to show you really quickly. It's got a couple layers. This is sort of like almost a layer of felt. You'll see some lint from my last load. And then the filter. So um, so I've got to go through a couple layers before it gets out through the vent. So I'm going to snap it back in. It's pretty easy. Alright, so I, just to give you an idea of the capacity, I still have just uh, some freshly washed clothes from my last video uh, where I washed four large men's polo shirts, a large men's t-shirt, a couple pairs of briefs, and two pillowcases. So I'm going to put that all in the machine right now. So you can kind of see in there, it kind of it's, fits maybe less than a quarter of the actual space in there, but you need that space to allow it to dry properly uh, without wrinkles and dry faster. Um, and so that, you know, the clothes can properly roll around. All right, so I'm going to close this. Start the machine up. Power, you see all the little lights that turn on. It's currently in drying mode. I'm going to select time dry. Um, I went through some of the specs earlier. I'm going to select 90 minutes because I think that'll be enough time uh, based on my prior experience to dry up these clothes and hit power and you'll hear how loud this machine is. It's not too loud but it's not a quiet machine. So here goes. I'm going to just pause it for a moment um, just to let you know that I do keep this um, without a vent, which you can buy a uh, indoor vent because uh, I didn't think I really needed it. It gets a little bit 
steamy in here, uh, but I leave the bathroom door open and it's probably no more steamy than uh, if you were taking a hot shower in here, so it's not too bad. And I think the filter does a really good job of catching most of the lint, so I, again, I didn't think I needed it, but you can buy one if that's your preference. Um, I will come back after 90 minutes to show you how uh, dry or damp the clothes are. Hi guys, so I wanted to show you the final piece of the video. Uh, this is the same load of laundry. Uh, it's been running or was running for about 60 minutes. I had it set at 90, but I think for the most part it's um, almost dry. So I paused it for a moment. Let me take the clothes out here. Uh, you'll see it's probably like half full now versus earlier. It was uh, much smaller uh, than that. Here's one of the shirts that I had. Um, dried and it is pretty dry. I say it's almost done. So uh, let me just take out the pillowcase which is thinner as well. Thinner than a polo but the polo is pretty much dry. This is um, completely dry. So that's it. That pretty much concludes uh, my review of the dryer. Again I highly recommend it especially if you're getting a compact machine and if laundry, uh, doing laundry is not convenient for you um, weather or location wise. Thank you for listening.